What's up everyone? John Renton from Techno Buffalo here with an unboxing of one of the coolest phones you've probably never heard of. This is the Samsung Galaxy Grand, available only unlocked. It slots in between size-wise between the Galaxy S3 and the Galaxy Note 2, but it's got a pretty neat trick. It's got two SIM card slots. Let's go ahead, open it up, dig in, see what it does. Here is the box for the Galaxy Grand, although Samsung should call it the Galaxy about 400 bucks since that is what it costs. It looks pretty much like every other Samsung Galaxy box uh, that comes unlocked, the Galaxy S3 and the Note 2. All white, picture the device on the front, looking suspiciously like its big brother, the Galaxy S3. And I say big only from a spec standpoint, uh, from a screen size standpoint, this guy is right in between the S3 and the Note 2 uh, with a 5 inch screen. So let's go ahead and bust out the scissors. and while while I am doing that, let me thank our friends who sent this device to us, Negri Electronics. Uh, it's where we get all of our unlocked devices from, and you guys should too. A uh, link to them, if you want to pick this guy up, is going to be down below. But of course, check their site for pricing, because pricing always is changing. Uh, so go ahead and peel off the plastic ceremoniously. Looks like I'm doing a little bit of uh, electronic strip tease here. But you can already see through it, so it's... Super fancy. All right, so Galaxy Grand. We'll go ahead and open it up. The big deal here at this guy is it's Duo's technology. It's got not one SIM card slot, which is for suckers. It's got two, which is for not suckers. Um, so I'll talk a little bit about why you might want a dual SIM card slot uh, in just a moment. Uh, this guy's shipping with Android 4.1.2 on board. And there it is. Looks like a small Note 2 or a large Galaxy S3. And Samsung has made it easier for us since they put all the specs right on here. It is a dual core 1.2 gigahertz chip with a 5.01 inch screen. That's WVGA, which is kind of disappointing, which means a resolution of just 480 by 800. But it does have an 8 megapixel camera, and there's something you don't really see very often two SIM slots. Let's take a look around the device. Looks like the back of a Galaxy S3 with Samsung's. Uh, plastic back that we see pretty much everywhere, uh, but the Duo's branding up top letting you know that it is indeed dual core. Uh, camera on this guy is an 8 megapixel affair that can shoot 1080p video and a 2 megapixel sensor on the front. It's got multi window support like the Note 2, which is also cool. No NFC, we do have Bluetooth 4.0. Let's push it off to the side for just a second and see what else we are going to have in our Samsung Galaxy Grand box. Quick start guide for you know it, getting started quickly and a Guia de Incio Rapido, which I'm gonna use my keen translating skills to mean quick start guide, for getting started quickly. Uh, so here is the battery, which is a 2100 milliamp hour uh, battery, which should be plenty. Uh, we've got earphones, yay, with earbuds and inline mics. I always like to see different earbud sizes, so if you got weird, freak, tiny ears or big ears, you're gonna be set. We've got a US wall wart, which is kind of interesting. Uh, this phone is primarily being sold overseas. I believe it's uh, available in India uh, on a carrier, but uh, nice to see a US charger in there. And then of course we've got now the cable. Everybody's got a billion of the micro USB cable. Push all that business off to the side. Come here business, you go off to the side. Let's go ahead and pop in the battery and talk about this phone. All right, I will seductively pull off the plastic of the back of this. At least try to go. And it's off. There's another little piece under there too. Uh, and it's that same plastic back we've seen on most of Samsung devices. I assume the screen is going to come off the same way, or the back rather is going to come off the same way. They can find a little indent which lives on the left hand side. Go pop this sucker off. This is where things should get interesting. So there's your micro SD card slot. Uh, for obviously expanding your storage. It's got 8 gigs internal, but here are two SIM card slots. So why would you want two SIM slots? Uh, well, if you live in a place where you travel uh, in different countries and you want to use your SIM card uh, that you use for home for making phone calls and another one internationally for data, uh, that's a great reason if you want to combine work and business. Uh, it's going to be another good reason uh, to have two SIM cards. Uh, I've never actually used a phone with two SIMs, uh, so I'm kind of curious to check this sucker out and see how it works and see if it's actually practical. Um, would you guys use a phone with two SIMs? Um, there aren't that many out there. I believe there's a version of the Note 2 actually, uh, which has two SIMs as well. Uh, it certainly is a niche uh, product, but it's a niche that's been around for a while, so there certainly is a need for it. So we'll go ahead and pop this battery in. I assume we'll see a pretty standard 
TouchWiz uh, 4 interface. And again, we've got Android 4.1.2 uh, shipping on this guy. So let's power it on, push all the battery back, and we'll peel off the screen protector. And we'll talk a little bit more about the phone. There we go, it is booting up, Android technology. And that guy is off the screen. So we've got the um, same capacitor buttons we've seen uh, on most Samsung devices hidden under here. We've got a menu button and a back button, one giant home button, a uh, volume rocker up and down on the left. On the right, we've got power and lock. There you go, the button sort of showed up for a minute while it's booting up. On the bottom, noise canceling mic and your charging and sync ports. On the top, 3.5 millimeter headset jack and another noise canceling mic. Speaker grill is on the back, 8 megapixel camera and LED flash. It looks like the back is textured, but trust me, take my word for it, it's not. It just looks that way. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do the setup here and we'll come right back. All right, so we've got the phone all powered up and ready to go, and I want to uh, re-clarify something that I said earlier. Uh, so only one SIM card is actually HSPA+, the other one is 3G, but you can use both uh, for data or voice. So nothing here all that exciting that we haven't seen, but something new is in settings. Uh, SIM card manager. You can set what each SIM card does. So you can receive in some coming calls on SIM 1 uh, or have data, use SIM 2 or dual SIM always on. We can receive calls from both SIM cards uh, even during calls, which is kind of neat. So you can really do a ton of different things with two different SIM cards here. Uh, everything else though is pretty standard touch with, nothing that we haven't seen. Although definitely with the low resolution, these icons certainly look big. Uh, but if screen resolution is not your thing, uh, there's plenty uh, of specs here to keep this guy running. Giga RAM, a dual core processor, and of course that fun uh, two SIM cards. Uh, so I'd love to know what you guys think, something that you'd use, not use, or what use you might have for it. Uh, I'm very curious to uh, check it out. Uh, anyway, thank you again to our friends at Negri Electronics for hooking us up uh, with yet another awesome device to show you. I'm John Rentinger from Techno Buffalo. Be sure to check us out for latest and greatest tech news, and I'll see you guys in the next video. worth your phone dying block.